What's going on, baseball fans? So in this video, I'm going to fix the Seattle Mariners. This is going to be a fun one, so let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is simply just have some patience. In 2018, the Mariners farm system was lacking, but in the last couple of years, they've added a lot of good quality talent. Because of this, they now have the number three farm system according to Baseball America. It was a loaded system coming into this season with five players total in the top 100 prospects on MLB.com, which are Jared Kalanick, Julio Rodriguez, Logan Gilbert, Emerson Hancock, and Evan White, and he's already playing full time in the majors right now. There's even guys like Noel V. Marte, Cal Riley, and Jake Fraley. As of right now, Logan Gilbert, Jared Kelenic, and George Kirby are projected to be playing full-time by at least 2021, while Julio Rodriguez and Emerson Hancock are projected to be playing in the majors by 2022. I'll say 2023 is really when this group should be hitting their stride. So until then, work on developing these players and just be patient. As of right now in 2020, the Mariners currently have the second to worst bullpen, only in front of the San Francisco Giants. To prepare for the next few seasons, the Mariners need to start building a bullpen, and that starts by bringing in a guy they traded for in 2018 and was very solid for the Mariners, might I add, Alex Colom. Since becoming a closer in 2016, he's been solid, averaging a 2.78 ERA and 32 saves a season. So far in 2020, he's been very good for the White Sox, not allowing a run through eight innings of work, along with posting five saves. While I'm not sure if he'll be the long-term closer for the Mariners, he'll be a very good piece for the bullpen, either closing or as a setup man, and the Mariners desperately need all the bullpen help they can get. While the Mariners at this point should have a decent lineup with guys like J.P. Crawford, Kyle Lewis, Jared Kelenic, and Julio Rodriguez, they could still use an established bat. With a gaping hole at third base now that Kyle Seeger is a free agent, one guy in free agency sticks out in the 2022 class, and that's Chris Bryant. He's going to give you solid numbers each year, as well as a valuable veteran presence due to the fact that he's won a World Series and he's been to the playoffs several times in his career. In his career up to this point, he's averaging a 283 batting average, 28 homers, 81 RBIs, and an 897 OPS per season. While the Mariners do have a ton of talented pieces, I think a winning player and a really good one in Chris Bryant would fit perfectly. This would give the Mariners a lineup of J.P. Crawford, Jared Kelenic, Chris Bryant, Julio Rodriguez, Kyle Lewis, Evan White, and Shed Long. If the young guys can continue to develop, this lineup could be one of the better ones in the game. After signing Alex Colom last offseason, the Mariners need to keep building their bullpen, and that's by getting another established closer in Roberto Osuna. Osuna is one of the best closers in baseball, and he would be a tremendous fit for the Mariners' bullpen. So far since 2015, he's averaged a 2.75 ERA, 10 strikeouts per nine, and 31 saves a season. He was very good this season before going down with an elbow injury that might need Tommy John surgery, only giving up one run through four innings of work. However, because of his injury, the Mariners may be able to bring him in on a cheaper deal, and because of his track record and at only 25 years old, he should still have plenty left. Pictures for a while now have shown to be able to come back from Tommy John, a lot of the times even better than they were prior. He could end up being a very solid addition for the bullpen and a huge steal. To put the finishing touches on a championship winning bullpen, the Mariners should sign another established bullpen arm in Zach Britton. At this point, he'll be 35 and will probably only be looking for a short deal to maximize his value. And what better fit is there than with the Mariners? Britton continues to be one of the best bullpen arms in baseball. Since saving 47 games in 2016, Britton has been money, averaging a 2.44 ERA a season. This would give the Mariners a bullpen of Alex Colom, Roberto Osuna, and Zach Britton at the back end, which could be one of the best in baseball. The Mariners have some talented pitchers coming up in the next few years, such as Logan Gilbert, Emerson Hancock and George Kirby. However, while this group is very talented, they're still on the younger side, and Mike Clevinger would be a great fit in Seattle to go atop the rotation while the younger guys continue to develop more. After his rookie season, Clevinger has averaged a 2.97 ERA, a 3.42 FIP, a 1.15 whip, and 10 strikeouts per nine. 
really the only thing that has held him back so far in his career is his health. But if he can stay healthy and if the young guys continue to develop, this would give the Mariners an awesome rotation of Mike Clevinger, Logan Gilbert, George Kirby, Emerson Hancock, and Justin Dunn. If all goes well, this could be one of the best and deepest rotations in the game. So even though there's not really much to do with the Seattle Mariners, that's what I would do. Tell me what you think down below. Tell me some ideas that you have, but that's all I got for this video today. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.